so the body man just came and looked at the car and he's gonna give me an estimate later today but we already know and have what parts are needed and we already got the go ahead but look it is pretty bad so it's pretty bad um but it can be fixed and ready to go by the end of the month so that's what we're aiming for and he said there are the, some other little things that need to be fixed um and let me show you as well this was broken before man these drivers really do a total tv cleaner this was broken before and i guess they had got it welded so now it kind of fell off again but the driver that was driving he wasn't the reason why obviously you can see he really wasn't the reason why the vehicle was stopped um unfortunately it was empty he was letting off a passenger was stopped and some girl drove and bloops crashed right into the vehicle <laughs> and she was making it seem like she wasn't wrong and it's like girl nobody's gonna believe you like what type of lie are you trying to fester up the back of the vehicle is fully damaged the driver is not wrong in this case like he was not wrong the vehicle was parked and i have the app to tell you that the vehicle was parked because it shows when the vehicle pulled off it showed when the vehicle stopped and it showed how long the vehicle stopped for so it's like don't lie we got proof <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna head back on the road now. And I'm with clocks, no straight jeans, but yeah, and my fitted. Oh, you can't carry this with me, but peace out. All right, guys, I'm at um, Port Moore, no Spanish Town Mall. I keep forgetting the name, and somebody had told me the name, you know, but I forgot. Um, I'm gonna go buy the hair dye, and then I'm gonna get my nails fixed across the road. So. Let's go. Alright guys, so I'm seeing that these are really all they have. And these aren't what I'm looking for. May I look for the I think it's called Carol Laurel. That type of brand. It's the same brand I used to do my hair. I just want but then again, we just want something dark. But I don't know. They have a lot of products though. Which is nice. So me so I can't find. Guys, one thing with Jamaica and Adam, I got up some dirty water up on the road. Come on. The sewer needs to be fixed. Like, that's unhealthy. But I'm dead if somebody splashed some of that for me. So I have to walk all the way up. Plus, now I wear my Clarks. Can't step in another dirty water. Ew. <laughs> outside of the, we're gonna call it the Spanish Town Mall I hope that's what it's called but yeah Anyways. my toes are killing me I think it's because I have the acrylic on my toes um and then i have these shoes on where i look a bit tight i don't know what is that killing me the christmas tree them christmas the christmas trees them still up yeah my fingers look so dark well on camera that is i know what else to be hungry now i'm so hungry
yes you're looking at a honey bun um cheese bread product of jamaica now there have been some controversies about this product a couple months ago on tiktok um with there not being enough cheese you know with some people doing remixes and putting bacon in theirs putting other type of meat inside of it like cut it open and put the meat in um but i'm telling you when you microwave this next level i'm not lying i'm gonna show you i'm gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and i'll be right back I mean, there's a big part that doesn't have any, but it's there's literally more than enough cheese in these two sections to spread it. So look at that. It's so warm and nice. Yeah. And it tastes so good. Mm. my foot like crazy it's now well into the um afternoon like it's literally um after four i just didn't want to pack didn't i have to pull out my hair there's no way i'm gonna be able to get my hair done but i do want to dye my hair I want to get rid of the blonde ends and just dye it black um, So I'm gonna have to buy a box dye and then when I come home later pull it out dye it and prep I've already picked out my outfit for the airport, so that's good But there's some final things that I need to fix up like I didn't get to get the tires for the taxi two days ago So I'm gonna do that today now um, And then this stinking dirty car. You know, sister, people are calm. Look how you almost kill off somebody. The person would have run into the gutter. Sorry. No, man, but you have a big old everlasting truck in front of you. And you have a next car in front. So there's a car in front and then the truck in front. You really go overtake the car if you just go sit on behind the truck on a road where you can barely see what's coming around the corner. Yo, sometimes when I think about my accident, I just get so upset because it's such a simple little accident and these people be doing these things all day. Anyways. Whew. So I'm going to get some food. I was going to do a what I eat in a day video, but I'm just like, one, I'm not about to spend so much money on like a whole of food. I am going to get some KFC tonight though because nobody's stopping me from doing it. KFC prices not stop me. Um... <laughs> So I will get some KFC tonight. I will indulge. It's gonna be me and Chad. He's bringing me to the airport tomorrow. And an update: my flight was actually canceled, um, and they switched me around and put me on a later flight. And it was gonna get me into New York at 11. I had a straight flight. It was gonna get me to New York at 12. I had a straight flight from um, Mobe to JFK. And look on this truck. Don't run the red lights on a circus. It's a black red. Anyways. Um, 
yeah so i had a straight flight let me turn down this ac a little bit i need to get chad's car washed before i give it back to him because i'm gonna drive over there and then we're gonna drive over to my place anywho so yeah um i guess there's a bunch of weather warnings and stuff of the sort um so they canceled they rerouted me to atlanta and yeah i wasn't gonna leave atlanta until like nine something and then I would not reach New York until 11.59. So my sister was very upset. So she called Delta and she complained. And she's like, well, she wasn't the one that requested this. Y'all did this. Um, okay, because she was like, oh, would you prefer, like, would you mind leaving out of Kingston? I was like, no, nah, I don't mind. I prefer to leave from my bay. I like the scenic drive. That's just me. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of, no, sudden people I'm too so. I'm not really the biggest fan of the, Kingston Airport like I, I genuinely do like the Mobe Airport um but yeah what was I saying uh so yeah she asked me I said no I don't mind so she called them and she complained and she's like okay then can she leave on an earlier flight um from Kingston and they're like oh no because da 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 we don't do that and whatever but yes they do because they've done it before because even me and mommy have done it before where um, mommy missed her flight because of one of the agents um, at the desk. Oh, child, that thing shining in my eyes. Um, yeah, so she missed her flight and they sent her from not from Mobe that we originally wanted, but they sent her to Kingston and it worked out for both of us because then they ended up sending two of us to Kingston because we were going to connect with each other in like Baltimore or something. But, anyways, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, so she was like, well, she didn't cancel the flight. That's the time that she wanted to get in. We got things to do tomorrow night. So you guys better fix it. And she, you know, she was like, yeah. Um, so they rerouted me to Kingston. And now I leave. I'm from Kingston at 9 a.m. <sighs> I leave at 9 a.m. And I reach around 4.41. I'm still going to stop in Atlanta. Um, but the layover in Atlanta is literally an hour so that's not bad and for one I'm gonna say for one I kind of didn't really mind the other one because I was like okay I'm in I'm in Atlanta for so long maybe I can leave the airport run outside <laughs> but no I wouldn't I wouldn't even probably do that when it when the time came um yeah, this is such a long little rant. I'm going to give the camera a break. I'm gonna give you guys a break, give myself a break. All right, I just barely made it to hire your house. I bought the car for the taxi. Taxi looks expensive, guys. Look at these colorful rims that they have. And then they have, I guess they had a Christmas deal. The rims are pretty. Look at that blue one. That one looks nice. Guys, this is what I get for being late. Let me show you how much these tires cost. $26,900. Upset my spirit, you know. I'll let it take them, I'll go home. So. They're gonna have to put the tires on themselves. But it's honestly my fault. I should have left earlier. I don't know what I'm thinking. I just, I don't know. I just don't want to leave so early. I, <laughs> I could have left like next week and I'd be fine. Or end of January and I'd be fine. But my sister's bridesmaid dress shopping is Saturday. So I'm a bridesmaid. I can't miss it. But I'm still... I'm still, um, what is it, bitter? It's still bittersweet. Not him using this. To, to I'm dead. He used that fan to fan off him clothes. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll be right back. I'm leaving for New York tomorrow whoa, whoa. I'm leaving I hope Chad <laughs> Chad I ain't seen that pothole thing it wasn't even really a pothole it was more like a a little tunnel like a little 
trench. Anywho, I'm leaving for New York tomorrow. I'm leaving for New York. <sighs> There's some food I want to get, but I don't know how quickly I can reach the place and I need to go by this other place. So I'm trying to go by the first place. Oh my god, I'm really excited. I think I'm like I said, it's very bittersweet. Like I'm really excited to whoa, look at that long line of traffic. Um I'm really excited to travel more. I'm super duper 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 excited to do that. I'm super duper excited to be in America again because I'll have just the easy access to work with brands and like I, like I said I want to build my portfolio I want to <sighs> look at that fit that fit wants to turn should I let him the way the traffic is set up I think I could if somebody else don't let him I'll let him or her anywho um I'm just excited to build my portfolio of brands that I've worked with because I'm listing the brands that I have worked with and it's like I can count on my five fingers. It needs to be more than that. Like, I have a platform. I have a great community. Shout out my big squad. Big squad. <laughs> you guys are a big squad. But shout out my B squad. Because you guys really, really, really helped me through Wolleep. Wolleep. And I really appreciate it. And when I recommend great companies, great brands, great hotels to you, I know y'all book, I know y'all buy, I know y'all look into the companies, if even to get some information. I know you guys support me that way, so like I want to work more with brands that I love, that I know you guys love, or could love, you know? So I'm really about that, and that's really what I want, and I'm gonna go get it. And I also wanna travel more, like why? Am I limiting myself? Like this is my home and it will forever be my home and push come to shop and me have to run go somewhere at Jamaica me run come because that's my home. That's the land of my birth. This is Jamaica, my Jamaica. Period. And nothing's gonna change about that. Um like I don't need papers to be here. Shoot, I could literally like run come here and I'm good. Nobody looking for me. Nobody ready to kick me out. Um and that's what I love but i do want to travel like when i got the opportunity to go to germany um and that was my first other than like going to america so i guess it was my second big international travel and i felt so good like i met amazing people um yeah i met amazing people i tried new food oh my god the food was the food was actually really nice like i tried flavored beer for the first time like i could drink legally over there that was my first legal my first legal drinking was i think canada but like i could legally legally drink over there and you know just like being immersed in another culture was so unique and it's like i'm young i have no child yet i ain't married yet you know like i have responsibilities yes to myself to my debts that america has put me in it's student loans hashtag they need to go now um but other than that i have nothing really keeping me in one place so, like i i want to say that i'm a global citizen like how cool would that be like to say like i've traveled to so many different countries i've met so many different people and like honestly from that trip to germany i still know people in england like i still i think i follow one girl who um one girl from from france i still follow her and she still follows me and i still follow another one from it start with an s but i don't want to say the wrong thing it's definitely um she's definitely from a western european country i just can't remember which one um but what else am i saying i just want to yeah i want to live life like i feel like 2021 a lot of people were living life during doing during during covid and i feel like it's my turn like it's my turn to go back to my goals that i set at in 2019 
whoa what is that what is that in 2019 um what was that I want to travel more and I definitely want to travel to more Caribbean countries as well but if I can get over to Europe if I can get over to Asia if I can get to Australia if I can even get over to like Hawaii which is still part of America or Polynesia um that would be so dope you know how amazing that would be yeah that's my second rant for the vlog yeah I'll be back it's dawning on me now that I'm driving that these are the last okay I'm not gonna be that dramatic but I won't be driving on these roads for a minute and that's I still want some KFC later in guys but that's really getting me nervous because I'm like damn like I'm gonna miss these roads but I'll be back I'll be back. I'll be back to see my favorites. I'll be back to see my family. And all my close friends are my family. Like, all my close friends are my family. Like, let me lock down this, um, this up here. Because sometimes, you know, like, when people just ride up and I walk up close, close to your car. You get me? Um, I've seen some videos of people just opening people's car doors. And that, that would get punched. <laughs> I'm so, I'm hungry. Um, I really want to get the food from that restaurant. I bought Kai lunch for her birthday. I don't think I've showed it to you guys, but I really want it now. And I think I'm going to miss it because they, I heard they close early. Because the food ran out because the food is that good. If you didn't know you want turn, brother, why are you over the sir and not over your sir? Try. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because why would you do that? You kill up yourself with that at the front, I know you won't go by yourself. Anyways, maybe I was seeing wrong. Maybe I'm accidentally turned on them indicator for nothing. Okay, yeah, I was, that's what I thought. Okay. Cause some people do that. I understand when it's a mistake, but don't kill up yourself with that at the front and they want to turn on people. All crosses. Yeah, when them stop right there, so. Hit. Anywho, I don't like being in this lane, so I need to come off this and go back in the other lane. So guys, I'll see you. I think I just keep coming on here rambling. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss it. Alright guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Alright guys, so I'm here in this restaurant. The one that I actually came to is open because so them food always like fell off real quick. But I'm here and I'm buying some stew beef. So, I'll be right back. The music are playing. You know the vibes. Guys, look. I don't know if I'm going to make it to KFC. I mean, I can try. It's 6.34 and I think they close at like 10. Or they close at 9. But I have some stew peas. The reason why I'm cutting myself. The reason why I'm going to get a KFC tonight and not tomorrow is because my flight is so dang early tomorrow. So, I'll be on the plane by the time KFC opens. So, maybe I can snag some food. Um, so I can go on. I'm sorry, my phone is blowing up, but right now I have some stew beef, rice and peas, some pasta, and it nice. Your fried it nice, it nice, it nice, it nice, it nice, it nice buds. Anyways, I'm gonna eat it, and guys, I'll also be dying. I'm gonna pull up my braids, and I'm gonna be dying my hair black. So definitely New Year, new me. Yeah? Alright guys, so I just got home and off the bat, I have some more stuff that I need to put in my suitcase. I've left a lot of clothes, but I still have a lot of clothes as you can see. And I know I can pack better than this, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to put these last two shoes and I have one pair of heels. I have, I think, one, two... One, two, three, four Clark shoes. And this is the one I'm actually wearing. This is what I'm wearing tomorrow. I'm wearing this top, this long trousers, and this jacket. My mom is calling me, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here is the box die again. I'm actually watching some dying videos. Don't judge me. Let me pause it, because her background is... Making a little bit of noise. 
um but yeah so this is the color i'm going for my hair is basically at least the bottom part i'm gonna show you and you can make your own judgment i think my hair the bottom part of my hair is in between no i think it's like this in between this and this so it should come out black hopefully i have this that i used from the very first time um i got my tools you know and then this thing these things from the box and this is what my hair is looking like well the back bits are tied are tied off so this is just the top part of my hair peeking out um yeah got my gloves on so i'm gonna come back i'm not gonna record me doing anything i'm just gonna do it because i have to go drop off chad's car and he's gonna come over here and i have to finish packing because i put a pause on that and i gotta wash the dishes girl uh, anywho so yeah i'll see you guys when i see you guys i'm at the airport and i'm pushing it extremely close i begged the doctors to send the results for me real quick so i can get the results back <laughs> he asked me what time my flight was and i'm like half an hour so he said um he sent it to the lab right away so hopefully i can get the results like asap because god know we can't afford to miss the flight yeah. and i can't afford for it to be positive so oh my god yeah this is the waiting area for the COVID testing and also where you fill out the form that you bring in to this location where you then pay and if you say it's like a white tent that's where you get tested I see her coming back with some more papers so let's see if mine is one of those I'm tired because I just ran I'm really hoping it is so it wasn't my test that just came back. I May mean, I get nervous now, guys, because I forgot through um, well, security and all those things. I got big the flight attendant to just help me out. Not the flight attendant, the the desk people to just help me out. And uh, I'm not even know. I'm just afraid now, to be honest, because it's almost nine o'clock. 